found in a burning home in 2015. Tonight, investigators say they've made an arrest in that Greenville County cold case. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has that story. The sheriff announced today that someone has been arrested in connection with the 2015 murder of Cecil Sandy Morris. Linda Patterson says she used to walk with her neighbor Sandy Morris every day. And after my husband passed away, he did things for me, you know, just, just a good person. Very, very good person. She says he had come to fear his roommate, Travis Merrill. He just told me he was afraid of him. If anything ever happened to him, I knew who'd done it. Last week, Merrill was arrested and charged with murdering Morris, five years after he was found shot to death in his burning home. According to Sheriff Hobart Lewis, his body was found in the early stages of decomposition, leading investigators to believe that he was killed about two weeks before his body was found in his burning house on October 30th, 2015. The initial problems in the investigation from 2015 were while we received concerning information regarding Sandy's roommate, Mr. Merrill, there was not enough forensic evidence at the time. The sheriff says when he took office, he looked at this case and knew it could be solved. Investigators began to re-examine evidence. They also found surveillance video and flight records showing Merrill traveled to California after the victim was killed, fraudulently spent thousands of dollars on his credit cards, and returned on October 28th. While the exact motive remains unclear at this time, we are very grateful for our team of investigators and their diligent work in solving this case. Patterson remembers asking Merrill about her friend when he didn't meet her to walk for several days. So he walked out, and uh, after that, I knew something was wrong because I said, when I kept asking where Sandy was, he said, oh, he went camping, he'll be back the 19th. And then it got to be a later date. It was always another date. Merrill is charged with murder, using a weapon during a violent crime, credit card fraud, and arson. I'm just so happy for the family that they've caught him. Mm -hmm. And for the neighborhood, because people were afraid of, you know, that he may come back, and you never know. Merrill was taken into custody at his mother's house in Brevard, North Carolina, on Friday. In Greenville, and Maxwell, 7 News. The sheriff says he's made changes to his office's cold case team and hopes to make progress in the more than 100 remaining cold cases in Greenville County. In